Hello guys and welcome back to Kentucky Home Garage. Um, a couple of months ago I made a video how to test the fuel injectors with the first look sensors and I got a very good response from you guys which I'm very glad. Uh, the idea behind the sensor is basically to measure a uh, pulsation from the fuel pressure regulator on a fuel rail so um, every time the fuel injector opens there's going to be a slight drop in uh, pressure inside of fuel rail and that's going to be reflected on the on the on the diaphragm on the fuel pressure regulator and then we can uh, read that uh, changes in a, in a, in a pressure with this with this sensor the sensor basically reads a differential in pressure and uh, on your on your lab scope you're going to see a c sine wave and uh, if you see the injector doesn't spray enough fuel you're going to see some discrepancy on the on the signal well uh, we can only use this with a uh, system that, like the return system with a vacuum control fuel pressure regulator. And uh, any other system, we are, you know, we are unable to use this. So that got me thinking. Uh, so I think I came up with a solution. Um, what I've done, I basically found a, uh, a fuel pressure regulator. And this particular one, what I was looking for basically, the fuel pressure regulator has a threads on it so that I can adapt it to my fuel pressure gauge. And uh, <clears throat> I looked on eBay and I looked at different different websites. So the trouble was to find a sensor, uh, the, the regulator, most of the time you have a regulator that has, that has a press fit on it so it would not, I wouldn't be able to adapt it to my uh, fuel pressure uh, gauge. So uh, I finally found one. This is the uh, fuel pressure regulator that's used uh, for like 1990, from 1990 to 1997 uh, Jaguar and um, the part number is uh, 7, uh, 73369A so um, this one has a thread on both sides I was able to adapt it to my fuel pressure gauge so now I'm uh, hooked up to my uh, Chrysler Sebring which is a uh, returnless, returnless system and now with this I literally can uh, use this sensor with any, any car, any, any fuel system. Now this one does not have a shader wall so I had to adapt some hoses to get my uh, system hooked up. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys uh, what I have here and uh, what we're going to look and how we're going to set the lab scope and uh, then go from there. Also I have a uh, scan tool hooked up so I can do an injector kill test and we're going to see that on our on our signal on the lab scope. So uh, what I have a um, on the I have my uh, amp clamp hooked up to my uh, uh, to my um, um, uh, fuse for my injectors and coils. This is the one fuse feeds both. So we're going to see current current from a fuse uh, from a, from a injectors and the uh, and the uh, and the coils, but that's okay. And uh, now I have my skin tool hooked up. Now here is the setup that I made. Uh, so basically I have this uh, pressure uh, regulator. Uh, here's the uh, that's that's the uh, number on it. Uh, you can get these on, you, on, on eBay. I got this for 20 bucks used. Uh, they'll go like for 40 50 dollars new. So I got my uh, uh, first look sensor here and uh, of course my uh, fuel pressure uh, gauge and um, I was I had to go to my local store hardware store to find the fitting for this uh, so finally I found something that it, it doesn't leak so that's that's great and then um, uh, so I got all the cables hooked up and now on my lab scope the um, uh, I have a um, my uh, yellow channel is going to be a um, let's see the glare my yellow channel is going to be my first look sensor I got it at 200 millivolts with the AC coupling because it's going to make an AC sine wave and uh, I have uh, my uh, M clamp on uh, 500 millivolts of the DC so that's my green channel and I'm at 200 millivolts uh, time and uh, now I'm going to uh, get you guys on, uh, on the scan tool and lab scope so you guys can see the signal and then we're going to do a uh, injector kill test and you will see what, what we're going to uh, what kind of different, uh, what kind of signal is going to happen after we kill injector? Okay, so 
I think I got a good angle. I don't have a glare on the, on my screen. So anyway, we got a uh, first look sensor channel on, on yellow channel with a 200 millivolts AC coupling, and then uh, our current clamp is going to be on the green channel with the 500 millivolts, and our time is going to be 200 milliseconds. And uh, let's um, let's start it up and see uh, the signal we're going to have. Alright, so now we can see uh, it's a little bit of harsh in the signal. Let me get, let me get through that. There you go. So, uh, so now what we see here is a. Uh, I'm going to just uh, stop them. And now there's a. This is low current here, those are injectors. The higher current are, are coils, so that that's. I had to uh, set it up this way because. Um, to see where every time now we can see that every time the injector opens we're going to see the slight drop in the pressure inside the fuel rail and this first look sensor is going to pick that up and uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to kill injector through my scan tool that's going to um, uh, by, by I'm, of course we will see that's one of these currents currents going to be missing but uh, if of course if you have a car that has a uh, fuel injector that is clogged up uh, they will uh, will see the uh, this first look sensor is gonna is gonna pick that up. So let's just uh, I'm gonna start the recording again, and I'm gonna kill one of the injectors and see uh, what, what's gonna happen here. Okay, so I got number injector uh, number three, and you can see the. Uh, let me stop this, and I'm gonna. Okay, so now we can see here is an injector number three. The current is missing here, but uh, of course, if you have a fuel injector that is firing, that you're gonna, you would have a current here. But then uh, now we can, uh, the, there's a, you can, we can see there a huge difference in a signal from the first look sensor from the good uh, system to a system that has a plugged up fuel injector. Now each car is going to give you a different. Um, different uh, uh, signal so this might be a little bit difficult to pick it up you know if you have a current here that would be very hard to figure out what injector is actually uh, not spraying the fuel but we would probably had a uh, uh, some kind of a misfire code so if that happens and we have a signal like this we would know that our trouble is actually inside a fuel injector that's not spraying the fuel and I think this is a, uh, again, I mean, this is not the clear, uh, the, the best signal, but I think it gives us enough information, you know, that we can, uh, uh, we can uh, uh, direct our diagnostic to, diagnosis to, a, uh, to an injector that's not, not spraying the fuel correctly. So uh, let's just do it again. Now we can see what the normal signal should be. And uh, so every time the injector fires, you can actually we can, we can see that uh, this is our current from, from a fuel injector. And, uh, and uh, every time the injector opens, it's going to be a slight drop in the pressure inside the fuel rail. And we can see what the system should look. And now, as we've seen uh, with the uh, fuel injector, it's not firing. The, this signal was completely messed up. Again, it was a little rough. It was a, it was a little tough to figure out, you know, what exactly, what what injector is causing a problem. But if we see the other the signal that we just saw before, we would know that our problem is um, injector that's not spraying the fuel. I I, I hope this makes sense. But uh, I think this is uh, something that that can be used uh, now with the system that I have now. I have my fuel pressure gauge, I have a first look sensor, I've, I have my amp clamp. Uh, I can, uh, other thing you could do, I could do another amp clamp and put and measure the uh, current on my, on my fuel pump. And that's pretty much all we need, you know, to uh, rule out our fuel delivery issue on, uh, on any car. That should be enough information for us to uh, figure out if our misfire is coming from, uh, from a fuel uh, system delivery problem. 
so um, okay guys I think this is all I want to talk about today I uh, again uh, this uh, uh, fuel pressure regulator I got on eBay it's for the for the Jaguar for 1999-1997 and uh, you can see the, the part number on it and if that's something you guys would like to do I mean I now I can uh, I can use this uh, system on any any car whether whether it is a uh, return or, or, or returnless uh, fuel system and um, uh, as soon as I get the chance to use it on the car that really has a problem I will uh, definitely do it and upload the video all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, see you next time thank you bye